Pag may crowd control ka, kung baga lalamang ka. Pero anyways, may kita natin yan. Game number one, in-excite tayo. Pina-excite tayo dito ng uh, STI for game number two. Sana ganoon pa rin. Oh, may kita natin ngayon. Boy. Alam mo, sabi din nila ito, no, tinanong tayo may puso tayo. May, may puso naman. Ako, <laughs> ang problema lang, yung puso ko nasa Kimi. Kakakimi ko lang kagabi. Yung lineup niya ganyan, pag wala kayong pambigil na early game, ang bilis mag-snowball niyan eh. Lalo may Selena pa on the side of Onyx Gage. We all know uh, the hero that we love is the uh, Selena. Napakabilis po mag-clear ng mga buffs niyan. No? So, Onyx PH, they have the capability to invade the jungle of STI. And I really like the playstyle of uh, Dillard dito. No? Tinitignan niya kagad kung kaya niya baka i-contest yung red ni Lembot. Ni uh, Lembot. Pero fortunately for STI, tatlo yung nakapwesto ron to protect the uh, red buff of the Bruno. So, STI dito, masisecure nila yung uh, red for their hyper carry. Pero Onyx PH, again, they're moving a lot faster compared to STI. Yes, and uh, kumapasin natin dito for STI, naka 4-man mask nila. So, talagang all-in Bruno for uh, this kind of lineup for STI. So, uh, for Onyx PH naman, kinagandaan dito, they have the Kimi na sobrang bilis mag-tower uh, push. But anyways, for Iyak, no, grabe nga, pinapakita niya dito. Actually, he's using the Grok. So, uh, most probably, this is an off-laner Grok. But anyways, nakuha dito ni AJ above ng STI. Flick out para sa kanya and uh, as well para dito kay Oh My Venus using that Kaja. Yeah. Alam mo, di, di, yung, yung line rate ng STI, no? sinabi ng panel kanina, if Onyx PH has the uh, the, the Kimi, STI has the Bruno. Pag-usapan late game, kaya-kaya ni Lembot. Again, ito na naman yung insure ng ano eh. Yung scenario ng game 1, pag umabot na late game at Onyx PH, hindi sila nakapag-snowball dito, they have the capabilities of dealing with the Kimi. Kasi, siya yung ano dito eh. Siya yung uh, primary damage dealer ng Onyx PH dito eh. And kapag na-shutdown naman siya ng STI, napakadali lang na ang buhay nila. And they definitely do that. May sustain si Bruno. Tsaka si ano dito, no? Si uh, Uranus in the form of the Hylos and the Estes. Oh, kung baga dito for STI, sobrang bilis nila yung kakounter dito. Pag nag-late game ang Onyx PH kasi pwede nilang saluhin lahat ng damage dito or sago-sago ni Kimi. Pero anyways, for STI, nakita natin kanina on game number one kung paano nila mag-extend. Oh! Flicker in for Wise para masecure ang first blood dito. Talagang hindi na makakatakas pa. And Dilar as well getting a kill agad para sa ating lab. 2-0 in favor of Onyx PH. Yeah, ito sinabi ni, ano, ni uh, Yasuo kanina. Yung, again, yung AOE control. And in-emphasize din natin dito sa caster's desk. Onyx PH, they are... Oh my God, Venus! Pulling in! The Bruno na hindi niya sila embot dito. And this is the punish, punish that can come out from Onyx PH. Hindi niya kaya laban ng 5v5. Sige, we will group up as 5. Let us not forget na si uh, Venus dito ay naging uh, top player ng Kaja Hero. So, uh, kita naman natin kanina, right on cue, ang kanya divine judgment pero hindi kasi dito, very aggressive lang din naman, tinulungan pa na Glorious Pathway dito and a kill for this Uranus against Onyx H1. Iyak no for the backup. Pero kita natin dito, blessing for the Moonlight Goddess. Come from Doc Mena, nastan dito si Wise pero uh, disengage na lang din para si Team STI and Team Onyx H. Grabe ano, tiga may Selena. Ito yung walking wards for Onyx PH just providing the vision for Dilar to be able to securely take down the red buff pero nandito si Estes for the uh, contest sino nakakuha? Nakuha ni Lard okay lang yan okay lang yan basta wala doon sa Bruno for STI Onyx PH they're gonna be happy with that trade kasi hindi naman yan yung primary objective nila again their primary objective is to have this Kimi snowballing in this game Oh, tas sa uh, ang actually for STI ay uh, medyo nagiging problema dito na aagawa ng buff so hindi nakakapagkuha dito si Lemot ng gold. Ngayon sinabi oh. natin all in. So, <laughs> ang ginagawa nila STI, grabe cards barrier. Checkpoint. Oh, literal na may checkpoint para may volleyball court na may kita doon. Hindi malalala pag ang bola. Pero anyways, makikita kita natin dito Lord. Wala na buhay, ginamit niya kanya gorgeous pathway kasama na dito ang ultimate coming from oh, the stain. Yes, talagang buhay Ang mga players dito Come from STI With for Onyx PH Nagkakapula na dito Iyak ng sarili lang Tinamang target Oh dito, my god kill. Napatay nila dito Ang isang wise Or isang key Which is the damage here Na Onyx PH Yeah And uh, di natin na pansin no, Si Nixon pala dito Naka Vengeance That's really good Against the lineup Of Onyx PH Nandyan yung uh, Sustainability mo At the same time you, you will ha You'll have The front line uh, Capabilities for STI So Nixon dito can be the tanky frontliner against Onyx PH and yun yung kailangan itindihin naman ng uh, mga supports ni uh, Wise dito. No? You, ha you have to get the uh, news of Durant on all my, all my Venus before you can actually take a 5v5 engagement. Oh, tama ka dyan. Actually, for Nix na dito, well commended yung uh, kanya aggressiveness. Yung uh, talamang kills dito na STI. Kita natin, talagang pinapasok niya or force niya na bibigyan na damage dito yung um, uh, Onyx PH. But anyways, top farmer for this match is this Thumbs with a 2.8k gold. So, unknowingly, for the Sonic 
STI, I mean for this STI, tumataba, tumataba na si Dilar dito sa bottom lane side. So, kita natin ngayon, STI is, the bottom, is on the bottom lane side para i-counter agad dito yung tumatabang player come from Onyx PH. Yeah. Again, yung gold lead, lalo pag Kimi lineup, you don't need to worry about that. Eh. Kasi if you shut down a Kimi objective, and he'll be playing towards the lead. Okay, problem with playing towards the lead yung for Onyx PH, again, is yung Bruno. Yung Bruno ng STI. I think the biggest power spend that Onyx PH will ever have in this game is yung Necklace of Drance. And yung uh, dalawang item ni Wise, yung glowing one, tsaka yung ano, no? yung uh, Blade of Despair. Yes, uh, guys, sinabi natin, Necklace of the Drance, yun ang talaga yung pinaanin dito ng Onyx PH and they're good to go. And another one na naman dito sa bottom lane. Doc, may napatay pa habang sinusone out dito ng Onyx PH. Yung box supposedly na isang Bruno dito. Kanina pa natin sinasabi, may hihirapan dito yung Bruno to cope up with the goal sa ginagawa dito ng Onyx PH. Meron sila sila na for the wards. Tapos meron pa dito si Iyak nung na sobrang aggressive lang naman. And Good yung pasok. Grabe si Wise dun. Talaga tinutukan na dito ang uh, Bruno na STI. Ito meron double kill pa sa kanya. Triple kill mga kaibigan. And it's going to be a maniac for this game number 2. STI versus Onyx PH. What is sustain kung kanya-kanya kayo mag-audition sabi ng Onyx PH? Hindi namin kailangan tindihin yung mga heroes nagtatabi-tabi kasi pwede naman baril-baril lang ni Wise kapag mag-isa, di ba? Oh, actually, dito si Wise talagang ginagamit niya yung feature ngayon. Ayun na, ayun na. Niya, pag feeling niya, pwede siya pumasok automatic ano agad. Pero anyways, napakasakit na agad na wala na yung Firaga armor dito. Si Agad ay sa export card for STI and si kanina po kung binabanggit na item dito, the Necklace of Durance. Well, for Onyx PH, hindi pa nila kailangan actually yung Necklace of Durance kasi effective pa yung rotation for them. Pero nakaredy na sila sa pang-counter oh. nila sa STI. Lord, wala na buhay na pilitang gamitin dito. Nasa este sa kanyang ulti. Agad-agad, kahit wala pang teamfight. Come from Onyx PH. And a monster oh my kill God. for Wise. Intense damage for this Kimi. Grabe. Again, ito na yung problema ng STI, no? Yung minimal uh, sustainability nila in the form of Estes and Hylos, pati na rin yung Uranus, nakakapatay lang, no? Onyx PH. Hindi na existing kasi kapag may nahila si Venus dito, matik, walang problema kung isustain man ng Estes kasi mamamatay at mamamatay. The damage out but is enough on the side of Onyx PH to take down any single target sa lineup ng STI. At saka, ang ganda ng combo dito midnight nung ano, nung uh, Kaja Kimi. Kung baga, Divine Judgment automatic yung linear damage dito na isang Kimi, sasaluhin lang doon na nahila. Yeah. So, kung baga, instant kill, kahit hindi super burst, pero yung DPS na kayong ibigay dito ang Kimi. And sa top lane side natin, a solo kill for Dilar using the thumbs. So, ang dami ko, kailangan kontrain kung baga ng STI para sa laban na to. Si Iyak na grabe mag soul out. Si Wise dito aggressive na all that Kimi. And si Dilar na kanina pa natin binabanggit, grabe mag-farm sa side lanes ng Onyx PH. Oh, grabe no. And STI dito, hindi na. Ito na yung pinakamahirap na part as a, as a lineup playing for the lead game. Yung hindi na makalabas sa sarili mong base. And Onyx Peach dito, they're just making sure na yung front, line, yung front gate ng STI, yung pinto, kumbaga, ay laging pwedeng katukin. Habing katapos, ayan na naman, nahila si Lembot. Oh my Venus in a perfect position to get the uh, pick off on the Bruno for STI and this might be it Onyx PH they can definitely secure this team fight dahil walang damage dealer ng STI pasok kung pasok dahil wala namang sustain <laughs> yung Estes tsaka Hylos kaya ang kaya nila yan pero mag over mag over stay syempre oh, wag lang sila mag over extend pero kita natin for Onyx PH they're confident with the damage talaga pinapasok nila doon kahit may inhibitor terrace eh kita natin dito si Jay grabe yung mga abyssal arrow niya talagang isa din sa factor dito for STI kung bakit hindi sila makapwesto para sa ating laban ngayon fleeting time for oh my Venus Dilar sasama sa bakbakan natin dito Doc Men na wala sa mapa mga kaibigan but unstoppable para sa kanya and that is it na yata oh. with a god like for wise unti-unti nang nauubos dito ang players na STI na tamaan pa dito si Kuya Dilar natin para sa kanila team and I guess for this series win on it PH Grabe. Again, we've talked about the biggest power spike that they'll ever get. The Necklace of Durance does the two items from Kimi. And tinapos nila yung laro nung nakuha na nila yung dalawang, uh, dalawang condition na yun. And this, uh, this says a lot for Onyx PH. Huh? They know their timings. They know their they know the problems that exist in uh, the game. Kasi alam nila na yung early game, mahirap, mahirap pasokan yung, eh. yung STI. At some point, mapipigilan sila nung Hylos at Uranus. Sama mo na rin yung X-Borg na naka-rival. So ang ginawa nila, they split the map.